Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to The Remedy. Hi, I'm your host, Tony Pantelleresco, and you're listening to us live on the Micro Effect Broadcasting Network. You can access the show by typing in www.themicroeffect.com, then click on the appropriate links, the chat room links. Come on in, make friends, get acquainted, solve some issues, save the planet, cooperate, act as a collective. I'm also published at several different sites, actually all over the internet. You can just either do a Yahoo search, Google search, or whatever you search with. You'll find me somewhere in the internet. You can also go to ByeByeBlueSky.com, uh, Brian396.com, GagCanada.com, and a host of other places where people are actively trying to find solutions, and you'll find us there one way or another. Um, today I want to... Uh, <laughs> I had an interesting email today earlier. It was funny. I would have read the email online uh, over the air, but I, I'm just going to give it the Coles Notes version. This woman contacted me, and she just basically assaulted me because I took a stand against carbon C60, and she said she, you know, she read my aura, and my aura was, you know, ugly, and I was ugly, and everybody was ugly, and blah blah blah. Then I wrote her back. I said, "See, you proved my point that carbon C60 is dangerous because you're seeing auras, and auras are usually an indication of strokes. You know, you're having a, you might be having a stroke. Maybe you should go and check, you know, get checked up by the doctor. Make sure you're not having any kind of brain brain damage issues from using the carbon C60. <laughs> anyway, kind of had to laugh at that. So then she wrote me back another hostile letter, you know, kept saying, kept trying to, you know, uh, just being insulting as per. So I wrote her back and I stated to her, then she stated that she wasn't seeing my aura. She didn't want to see my aura, blah, blah, blah. And I said, see, now you, you can't make up your mind. First you were seeing my auras and now you're not seeing my auras. It says, see, this is an ind indicative of brain damage and you're taking a substance that's causing brain anomalies. I said, go get checked up you might be having a stroke. And then she can continue on. And so I talked to another friend of mine. And he was telling me that this sounds like a person who's possessed and, you know, maybe demon possessed and maybe, you know, just somebody to send them to her, send, you know, send, them, send her to him and he'll ask who her black handler was. So I, <laughs> I wrote her back and says, there's a fellow here that he said he would take you on, help you out, try to help you get, get through this demonic phase in your life. <clears throat> help you deal with whatever. Anyway, she wasn't too impressed. <laughs> and then I repeatedly told her that to go get she should go get checked up by the doctor to make sure she wasn't having a stroke. And anyway, for some reason after that she didn't want to email me no more. I don't know why. But anyhow, <laughs> anyhow people will attack if you're if you're an activist, if you're standing up for the truth, if you're standing up to tell the truth. If you're standing up and you're in complete opposition to a consensus that's going on because you have a different view or perspective based on facts, not just be, you know, shooting off at things, then you are going to get a tar you will get attacked and targeted and assaulted. And again, it, and, and, and I'm used to this stuff. I've been, you know, I've gone through this all my life. <clears throat> you know, I became a Christian. People assaulted me. When I spoke the truth, people assaulted me. When I told people about health and healing, I got assaulted. And now, you know, this is nothing new for me. You know, and basically you just hold your ground and stand your ground. Now, I knew I wasn't going to try to convert her. But I made a point with her that if you're fooling with, I mean, this is basically, it wasn't because it was a carbon C60. It was because it's a nanometal. And when you're dealing with any kind of nanometals, these things can go into the brain. And if you're seeing auras after using a, a nano silver, nano gold, nano copper, nano iodine, nano magnesium, nano potassium, uh, carbon C60, any nanometal, if you're starting to see auras, you better go get checked ASAP because that's brain damage occurring. That's high levels of oxidative damage occurring. That is a maybe a possible stroke in the making. These metallic materials are extremely dangerous to us, especially in the area of the brain. 
Don't allow somebody with the theatrics and the magical uh, cart and the magical whatever to propagate whatever. Oh, well, by the way, before I go on, I think what got her going is because uh, Dave and I filmed a couple more videos last weekend, and Dave let let one out. Um, what was it? oh the dangers of blue beams? Because last week we talked about the blue beam project and how we are already in the blue beam project. It's not some you know blue beam up in the sky. We're going to see Allah and God and Vishnu and whatever else, whatever uh, flying saucer coming out saying you know we are. We are your gods. We need you to bow down before us. And all you religions need to give us your whatever, whatever nonsense that they propagated. The Blue Beam Project, like I said, is you. You are the targeted with the Blue Beam. Now, I, I tell you something. I've been experimenting just to let you know. I went and got yellow lights. Yellow, sorry, not yellow lights. I got a yellow light and I got it beaming on my computer, my monitor, so it's getting it. I'm wearing the yellow lenses, and I'll tell you something. What I've noticed is a lot of the blue has a lot of green in it now. Um, if you're driving down the street, and you look at the lights, the, the street lights, and you've got the yellow lenses on, the lights will be producing a gru green frequency. If you're driving down the road, and you've got a car with the high beams on, you know, uh, targeting your your back end whatever and you, and you'll see well the normal lights will be go, like a yellow and the new lights will be green you'll see it you'll actually see it you know um, I went and bought mine at a hardware store they're like a safety lens and they're, and they're yellow um, I actually put two of them on one on top of the other one to increase the, the uh, filtration and I'm looking up at my fluorescent lights, and they, again, they're all green. They're all emitting a green frequency. So you might want to do this experiment just to show you when you're driving around, walking down the street, going into a grocery store, going into a hardware store, going into a clothing store, going into any kind of store that you go into that you frequent, uh, donut shop, whatever, you know, wherever you go, restaurant. Take the glasses with you. You might be surprised. Don't be surprised you see, you know, one person looking like they're part of mankind, a man and a woman, and another person looks like they're an alien. <laughs> they live. They live. <laughs> the technology is all around us. Somebody sent me something today called Li-Fi. I haven't got a chance to look at that yet. I'll just throw it out there for you to Start to research. Well, Li-Fi apparently is another means of, of um, accessing data and accessing you. So go check it out. Basically, it's L-I-F-I. We are living in this kind of world today. You know, this is not the world where you have what you think you have as far as your personal, person, uh, you know, private privacy. You know, you have your own personality and your own privacy. This is not there today. Today, everybody is basically associated with somebody, whether they want to be or not. Um, the cell phone is constantly, constantly programming people. You know, you see it all the time. And like I said, a woman contacted me, berating me because, oh, you're spreading disinformation, you're doing this, you're doing that. She obviously has never looked at this technology. She obviously has never looked at the information on it. And like everybody else who gets caught up in the, the uh, theatrics or the, the drama, she got sucked in. He's using it, getting some sort of placebo effect, and not realizing it's causing her damage. I even told her she was ranting and didn't know she was doing it. And she kept on writing. And then I told her to go, get, go see a doctor. He said, go see a doctor, you might have a stroke going on. You know? And, <clears throat> and I wasn't being funny. You know, initially, I was sort of chuckling at her because I thought, you know, what a goofball that she fell for this so hard. You know, they're so, this gullible. But anyway... Um, I wasn't laughing because we're gullibility. I was laughing because the letter was stupid. But anyway, the, uh, uh, <laughs> the, 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 these things, like I said, and, uh, and I'm going to encourage you and exhort you here. If in these days and times, you're going to go buy something and put it in your mouth, and you're going to consume it, you better read the letters. You better bring a magnifying lenses because they made the print ultra small so that when you're at the store, you buy the thing, you take it home, and you forget to read what's in there, and then you wind up taking something you shouldn't, and you wind up 
having some kind of anomaly going on or some kind of uh, dis, uh, disorgan dysfunction or some kind of disorientation. And this, ha and this happens all the time. I get calls on this all the time. When you're looking at, you know, uh, when you're looking at health, the health criteria today is not the same as it was 30 years ago. 30 years ago, nobody knew what DNA was. Nobody, I mean, they, you, you knew what DNA was, you knew what it was an acid, but you really, we didn't really know uh, in scope how impacting DNA is on everything in life. And they've actually used DNA to modify the nanobiology. Yeah, we're talking, to, I mean, when you're looking, I, I mean, all you got to do is click on any research venue on, on nano and, and every one of them, every one of them is going to tell you that they're doing this for some sort of medical benefit to mankind or to humanity or to the people of the planet or something stupid. You'll always hear this. You're going to hear, uh... This is for the good of the planet. We are doing this because it's going to be, you know, be great, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, it's the smokescreen. It's the bullshit. It's the smokescreen. It's the game. It's, again, the theatrics. It's the drama. We got to get you sensationalized. We got to get you so compulsive and so impulsive that if anybody ch says anything contrary, you will attack them for us. And they don't realize this is what's going on. It's almost like a cult-like a cult -like mentality. So, when you're talking to people about any topic, you know, uh, some people you're not going to really talk to them about certain topics, and that's fine. Just be superficial with them and move on. Other people you'll be able to get into some deep, 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 uh, provoked, provoking thinking discussions where you both leave it and you start thinking about the discussion and about certain specific things in the discussion and what you could possibly do again to uh, evolve yourself to, to become more knowledgeable. And again, this is something that <laughs> we all need to do you know, and just stay at it. Um, When we are dealing with nutcases, um, where we go, we got something here. Squirrel, Tony, Jim Phelps brings in the calcium coal ash in the chemtrails. It's high, is high. Dr. Martin Paul talks about BGC voltage gated calcium channels leak calcium in the cell and cause breakdown with EMS. Have you noticed calcium problems in your work, uh, Phelps? Okay, that's it. Um, people are having calcium problems because people are having teeth, uh, dental issues. Everybody that I know is having some kind of dental issue, especially if they came from my era or my generation. They, everybody had dental issues. So, and, and like I said, and part of that was because of the silica they were putting in and, and the nano. It was breaking down the enamel. Now with the frequencies that we've got going on and the activation processes and how they're weaponizing everything, it, it, uh, everybody's skeletal system is breaking down. I was discussing something with a person yesterday. If you're sleeping on the second floor, if you're sleeping on the second floor, you might want to change your location where you're sleeping. Or you might want to go get a couple wind, uh, door screens, uh, tape them together with aluminum tape, and then have a, a hook on the wall with a low with a rope going down, very low. That will cover your bed from head to toe, and allow you to have room to turn around in, because if not, the frequencies you're being hit with at nighttime, it, when you wake up the next day. You can barely move. You can barely feel. I mean, you've got bones cracking. You're stiff. This is because the cells in your body have been uh, dehydrated. They have been damaged so that they leak out the waters. And whatever nanometal you have inside, it becomes more active in its construct construction and building itself inside of you. So 
this is where we're at today with this type of self-assembling, self-repair, uh, uh, self, um, self-replicating, self-repair, self, uh, I can't think of the term, self, um, basically self-building, it builds itself, you know, constantly, uh, 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 not just replication, repair, but, um, Oh, heck, I can't think of the term. But anyway, <clears throat> it'll construct itself, uh, self-assembly, self-repair, and self-replicating. So it'll assemble itself, it'll repair itself if it gets damaged, and it'll replicate itself like a cell. And when this stuff gets inside you, it doesn't change. It, it follows its paradigm. And when they get activated with frequencies, this is when we start having major problems. Okay, nobody's sleeping. Skeletal systems are being broken down by these frequencies. The cells in the body are being broken down by these frequencies. You're having water leakage in the body. You're drinking tons of water, but yet you're always thirsty. Why? It's because you're diabetic or it's because the cells can't hold the water anymore. I got it, Hardaway. It's self-assembly, self-replicating, self-repair. Uh, when you're looking at this material and you're seeing how they're putting more and more DNA in there I saw something the other day where they took nanotech nano, bio nanotechnology and made a cornea now they're, think, they're telling us this is going to be good for the future we're going to be able to replace people's eyes but when we're looking at this technology that's going on today, and uh, I want to point out somebody real quick. Hold on. Uh, her name is Linda Malton Howe. And she did a, uh, an interview, I think, in Idaho. Anyway, I, in Ozark, sorry, uh, uh, Arkansas. In Arkansas. I'll give you the link. Now, this woman, I never met her before. Somebody sent this to me yesterday. Uh, and I listened to her. Because I've been following the AI thing as well. And mm. she's absolutely correct. If you watch this video, she's telling you that these things that they're building in the military industrial complex has already killed several professors, several uh, scientists in Japan. And everything that they're assembling, everything that they're grabbing, everything that they're doing, whether it be DNA or, or whatever, tissue samples. They are applying this technology to the artificial intelligence. That's what's making this so dangerous. That we are now dealing with an artificial intelligence. Almost every major scientific programmer is telling you the same thing. This is a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous technology. We have crossed, we, did, we haven't crossed. The scientists today have crossed the line in regard to this. The Japanese are jumping on the AI technology. They're way ahead. And they're just moving right along with it. The uh, U.S. And, and, and Europe are, are way ahead in the nano end of, it, end of things. So uh, China is talking about building a 6G platform. 6G! So we are living in a world where things are rapidly undoing, becoming undone. This is not progress. This is not evolution. Uh, we're not evolving. We have become now completely stagnant. The technology is it. That's the end all, be all, and do all. Uh, now, some of you may look at this woman and find her a little bit strange, and she's a bit on the eccentric side, I and mean, that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But everything she was talking about, she is correct. She even made comment that Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Stephen Hawkins, when he was alive, was making the comment that the AI was the biggest threat that humanity was facing. That they would lose, the planet could lose its population. So, uh, and be completely taken over by artificial intelligence or these bots. This is very, very frightening. I mean, basically, the scientists in Japan were working obviously on a, on a advanced version of robotics, uh, I forget how many of them uh, killed, I forget how many scientists died, and then one of them was trying to access a satellite so that it could upgrade itself, so that it can be in a total upgrade. 
So, like I said, when we're looking at things today, things are not the same. The Disney Channel has changed its programming. And you now need to get, if you're going to be watching the Disney Channel, you need to pay close attention to the things that are currently we're heading into. And understand the nature of this technology. There's nothing really good about it other than the fact that it's, um, it has the capacity to assemble if you apply whatever frequency. So in the manufacturing end of things, if you wanted to uh, build something, you could with this. But again, it should be in a containment environment where people do not get near it. Yeah, AI is, is probably at this point in, in AI nano bio, biotechnology it, it these are extremely um, uh, volatile at best I it's my time to go if they fire a nuke I want to be under it you know I do not want to be around for the AI uh, takeover there won't be any life left if there is anything it'll be completely under constraint uh, if this acts in the sense of it's being self-aware uh, it will eventually take out anything that isn't remotely up to the snuff or to the standard that's just the nature of things and that's what they design um, the platforms that we have today even in designing a defense mechanism you have to recognize that the hardware you're going to need are not rockets and bullets, but understanding the nature of the tech and how to turn it off. Once you learn that, once you understand that, then you can set up people everywhere to turn off the tech. You know, a robot, ro a robot tank moves into your neighborhood and is about ready to open fire you may want to consider that the guns, rockets, and bullets you've got are not going to penetrate that tent, but altering a frequency will. Again, something to think about. You know, something to think about. That by altering the frequency, you can make changes and shifts in, in uh, almost any field, in any level. So, you know, when we're looking at... Um, What's going on today? You know, do your due diligence. Study artificial intelligence. Start start studying bio nanobiology. If you go and do um, a Wikipedia look uh, def, uh, look see or uh, search, and you type in nano, you know uh, you're gonna get a whole list of stuff that they talk about, and it's amazing when you look at the chart on the right side the different terminologies and how involved it is in regard to uh, other industries as well. It's amazing. It's like, a, it's like a virus that has spread across the planet with no check and balance. None. None. If it decides to go into a town and the town uh, won't um, cooperate town will disappear in its place will be a highway or a, gro or a shopping mall <laughs> that's how it works today you don't have to say no you can say no and they'll just say okay no problem well you'll have a good day and they'll come back uh, two weeks later outside your property line and seeing the damage that goes on this is the kind of tech I'm talking about you know uh, light light uh, energy um, sound energy you know, we talked about the blue beam project last week, how they can fire a blue beam into the brain and the brain's chemistry can be altered. And not only can it be altered, then you can control the thinking process. Okay, that was, and that was only how long ago. Today, now they want to, again, it's more, um, more refined. Now you're consuming a product which can get lodged in the brain, which can turn your brain into mush very quickly. Uh, it can, it can, um, it can alter the DNA, literally. Alter your DNA, alter your genetic code. So again, think about that. Think about all these things that, you know, we're mentioning here. Uh, 
I said Brian396 again has a lot of research, so do I. So does buy by bluesky.com. I can't emphasize enough to go look at that this, this material. Just so that you're not caught in between the cro the crosshairs. Because if you're caught between the crosshairs, you're pretty well done. Somebody's gonna take you out. You know, and it's just gonna be a matter of how, not when. How. So again, keep that in mind. Don't allow your ideas to be squelled. Go forward. The people who don't see what you're doing or understand what you're doing, they'll either get caught up or they'll miss the boat. <laughs> that simple, you know. So don't be so caught up with them. Be more caught up with your own personal uh, accounts that you need to be personalized with. Because like I said, anything that they take, anything they use, they will incorporate it into the artificial intelligence, into the nanotechnology. Like I said, look at anything. They're, they're, they're copying feet, they're copying hands, they're copying fingers, they're copying uh, toes. They're making all kinds of copies on these things. Uh, and then they're using them. Look at the research. Look at the research. Like I said, look at the even if you look at the nano uh, constructs in the Wikipedia, you might find it, it, it's pretty extensive. What you might find, you know, pretty extensive. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I had it earlier. Yeah, first first three D printed human. Corneas, you might want to look that up as well. First 3D printed human corneas. Why are we mass producing corneas? Because a lot of you have cornea damage from the dust that's in your, in your uh, eyes all the time, just based on where you live. Um, I get people constantly complaining about their eye issues. I tell them to use MSM or, table or a sea salt uh, and do an eye wash with it so that you can break the biofilm barriers down. You know. This is what you got to understand. You're being exposed to a high level of technology. Some of it doesn't open up. Some of it you swallow without you knowing about it. You can get lodged in the lower GI. You can get lodged in the, um, anywhere, in the kidneys, anywhere. Okay? And then you wind up with a problem. Now we're print printing 3D printed corona, human coronas. Who's going to benefit from this technology? Who's going to benefit from developing a 3D printed human, human uh, colonies? It's pretty tough to uh, get things going, get things done, uh, especially when you got opposition trying to um, tilt the apple cart, if you will. Okay, tilting the apple cart. So human corneas, why are they mass producing these things? Why are they manufacturing them? Are they actually going to go into test subjects? Are they going into... Uh, machines think about it all right come on back I just hear the music see you in a bit Ugh. Hey, we're back. <laughs> well, we're back. We're back. Yes, we're back. Hey, hi, hi. This, hi, this is the Remy. Hi, I'm your host, Tony Pentelresco, and you're listening to us live in the Micro Effect Broadcasting Network. Um, I've been getting a lot of calls and reports as well today in regard to um, pets. Have you noticed that your pets are being hit with? Issues, health issues. And you notice your pets, <clears throat> you've been checking the bedding, checking them when you wash them, checking different things. And you notice that the pets have these unusual fibers forming. Notice that? And um, you have to understand your animals are going to be subjected to the same violations you are. They're going, to be, they're going to be hit the same way you're being hit with. They're going to be targeted the same way you're being targeted with. Uh, you know, and so you're going to have to start looking at 
uh, taking the stuff off them. Okay, we did a thing uh, uh, some time ago. We're making a baking soda and uh, by sodium phosphate solution. We use it for the teeth, you know, it's a teeth regenerating formula. But you could take that same formula, um, two teaspoons of, of uh, trisodium phosphate and eight teaspoons or uh, is it eight. Well, you can go eight teaspoons of the baking soda, mix it in a liter or a quart of distilled water, shake it up, dissolve it, and start spraying your pets and wiping them down. You will be surprised how that will make them feel tremendous and alleviate the load that you're seeing. More and more people are commenting to me about health issues. Now, another thing I'm going to talk about real quickly is mimetics. Mimetics. If you go to a doctor and he tells you you have Lyme disease, nine out of ten times it's wrong. It's a misdiagnosed, it's a corrupt, uh, it's a corrupt doctor there who primarily is just there to keep you in a state of, uh, of confusion. Nothing more, nothing less. You're trusting the doctor, the doctor's going to do his job, and then what happens is you get, you are now being taken for the ride of your life. You're being prescribed drugs, you're being prescribed uh, prescriptions that don't work on the situation. So you have to start thinking in terms of, okay, if they've given you medications and they're not working toward the condition you're dealing with, then maybe you don't have the condition. It's a possibility. Someone was writing me an extensive email and giving me the rundown of her, uh, what's, what she's been dealing with and everything, and um, how they've been targeted. A lot of you are getting targeted and you don't even know it. You know, you're being hit with things, you can't remember stuff, all of a sudden you go, well, like I went blank a little while ago, trying to figure out the, the three terminologies, you know, self-assembling, self-prepare, self-replicating, I got it now. <coughs> But when I was talking to everybody, I was, I was probably getting hit with something. This is going on regularly with everybody. You're driving down the road. You can't remember how you got from point A to point B. You're there. You just drove autopilot. You don't drive autopilot. You're being driven. Okay. So when you're talking about some of the health issues that you're dealing with today and some of the things that they've been propagating to you and calling, um, calling out a pathology, a lot of the pathologies are not pathological. You know, a lot of them are not pathological at all. In fact, some of them are all nanobiotech. All these new health issues that are going on today are a direct result of either the military industrial complex, and that would include NASA and DARPA and the CIA and everybody else, uh, out there propagating the experiment releasing into the environment whatever is required and you got to remember something things don't just happen they sometimes these things are prepared where they put stuff out in regions and everywhere else and then they activate the experiment <clears throat> this has been going on all the time look at chicago back in what the 60s or 70s when they dumped radiation out in the city of chicago look at california now California used to be a beautiful state from what everybody tells me. I've never been there. But they, from what everybody tells me, it was a beautiful, gorgeous place to go. L.A. was like the city to go to. It is, it is falling apart. People there are being hammered. I get calls from there most of the time telling me how bad things are and, what to, and what's going on with them and the health issues they're dealing with. These people have, are being assaulted in levels and ways you and I cannot even begin to scope or imagine. So, this is where you have to start looking at this from a whole different paradigm. Even if you've got medical training, chances are whatever you've been looking at in the medical textbooks is all nano. What you're looking at is probably some sort of nanomimetic or something that mim mimics the uh, the path path pathologies, whatever that they're promoting. Okay, we've had flu shots all the time. Here, have your flu shot. Don't you think that sounds a little odd? 
If you're getting a flu shot every year from a, because of a different strain of flu, <laughs> don't you think it's strange that they're even giving you a free vaccine? I mean, doesn't that even remotely make you think what is on their mind? What is their agenda? What are they really trying to do? You know, what are they trying to do? And then if they come out with a product and they start to sell it, then you got to ask yourself even more so. If I buy this product and use it and it's coming from a, the military industrial complex, is it really going to work? Or is it going to cause me more problems? You know, these are things, like I said, you, you got to kind of reevaluate again. Um, when we're looking at... Well, just look at the technology, too. I mean, the last video we did, we, we the power of the blue beans, or beware of the blue beans, um, it was all about, like I said, how to protect yourself, and the best possible way you could do it with what we, with little what we've shown. There's better ways out there, for sure. Don't hesitate to explore those venues. You'd be surprised how that will make a big difference in the frequencies you're hitting, hearing at home. Big surprise. Um... Um, oh geez, I was just I just got into a thought and I forgot what I was talking about. Ha <laughs> ha! I got hit with something. The um, sorry about that. I just paused for for a minute. Went blank. The uh, I was talking about the AI and talking about the being prepared and being hit. And again, we have to look at things from a whole different ball game today in regard to how to defend and how to how to look at things. Even in the area of the food supply today and what we're eating, we have to start looking in terms of how to negate and neutralize what's going on. Um, don't just go by the old paradigm anymore. It is no longer reality. The old paradigm was about, again, even that may have not been completely accurate either, about path pathological issues or health issues. They, they started the experimentation with this nano and this nanobiology you know, way back. I was talking to somebody, and we got into a discussion about it, and she was telling me that they had this going on even before I, uh, my research stopped at uh, 1960s, where it started, for, for what I found. And even Gwen Scott, when she was alive, found it up as far back as 1938-1939. They had been a long time developing this technology, this biological agent, this, this uh, incubated material, because it incubates literally in you, or it incubates in the delivery that they're using um, to get it across, so that you can get it afflicted, infected, and then it starts to access your DNA. All, everything that's, everything about this science right now is all about developing artificial intelligence and mimicking us or duplicating us by using a machine. Once a machine is built, primarily they don't won't need you at all. In fact, you might become an uh, an obstruction to the to the uh, evolution of the artificial intelligence. So again, this is something you may want to start thinking. This is a real reality today. Um, here. So, like I said, when we're looking at it, let's go back to that video I was telling you about with Linda um, Moulton. And like I said, she talks about some things, some things you're not going to fly with, and that's okay. But in the AI concept that she talks about, you might want to pay attention. When you got the biggest think, think tanks of the planet saying that we need to do something about putting this in check and balance, when the military industrial complex gave artificial intelligence the capacity to write its own programs and upgrade itself as it saw fit, it took the control out of the hands of the programmers, out of the people that were really involved in, uh, in the operating s operations of these systems. Uh, I have a caller. Okay, caller, come on in. Hello? 
Hello, hello, hello. I hear you now. Who's this? Kevin? Orvin, Orvin. Okay, what, uh, how, what's up, Orvin? Uh, no, but go ahead, go ahead. Okay. It's called it's 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 called genos it's called planicide is the term, uh, but it's planicide. The thing is, it's not about racism. It's not it has nothing to do with racism. They were using that terminology so that everybody could get access to the vaccine. But what this is going what's going on here is not racism. This is genetic uh, takeover of everybody. They want to incorporate everybody into this experiment. Okay, the United States and Canada were nothing but laboratories. That's all they were. They destroy every every place the military industrial complex goes and destroys. They bring the immigrants or the leftover of those people to their countries. It's not because they're being humanitarian. It's because they're bringing them in for the, the new material, new experimental material that they can now apply. Because when these people come over here. They have this perspective or this visual of the North America, Canada included in the United States, that this is the dream world. This day have finally made it. They have now got the life. But they don't realize that when they get over here, they're going to get vaccinated. They're going to have pills. They're going to be, <clears throat> their families are going to be destroyed. This is the same thing that's happened to everybody else. So this is a lab. This is not a country. These are labs. And these are experimentations that are going on in these labs. You, again, take over your mind, break your mind. Uh, in, uh, integrate you with artificial intelligence, integrate you with nanobiology, because if everybody's integrated, you've, min you've eliminated racism because you're now all, all, all operating under the one program. That's called singularity. The Tower of Babel, when you read about the Tower of Babel bl biblically and you actually examine that, that wasn't necessarily a construct going into the heavens. That was a construct or a portal that was being built and mankind at that point in time was already under the singularity. They were already in that in the same program. They didn't even need to talk. They, every man knew or woman knew what to do. It was as almost as they had a telepathic link. And I'm not convinced today <clears throat> that a telepathic link really is telepathic in the sense that it's coming from our minds. I think it's as a direct result of these uh, particulates that have been embedded in our brain and we become antenna now. Uh, in that time frame, whatever happened there had the whole planet under one language, one mind. That's where it's going again. Even the concept of that we came from the Neanderthal and the Cro-Magnum, that is also backward. It's not that we came from that. That's where it's going to. Because if you look at the biblical reference that God made man upright, okay, it made him upright, Men did not look like monkeys, apes, or something from a genetic reject pile. When you're looking at the, these pictures of these uh, species of people, these are what they were degenerated down to. That's what happened. So when we're looking at what you're saying in regard to racism and other things, um, vaccines and whatnot, these are all weapons. And they're giving everybody the equal opportunity to be infected by those weapons.
Well, not vaccines, but they have used the biological warfare agents where they showed the governments were trying to kill you know, whole uh, communities and whatnot. But yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Um, but like I said, you know, keep, keep in mind, you're, this is not, this is more than just about racial profiling. This is about racial integration more than anything else. And we're gonna basically integrate everybody into a program. That's what this is all about. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. If you can't do anything pasteurized, that's good. You can live on some basic things. I'll give you some of the things you can live on basically. You can live on powdered eggs, powdered milk, powdered potato, on pasteurized milk and potato, eggs and potato. You can li literally live on that and get everything you need. Just add fat. Uh, that's all you need. And if that's where you're at, that's where you're at. Start using, again, things that are going to help strip out the nano or the uh, <clears throat> nano, bio nanotechnology. You need to start looking, get, getting this stuff out of the system so that when you remove this bio nanotechnology, one, the frequencies have less, uh, less hold on you, and two, your body's DNA can come back online, reboot, and start, help, start getting you back the way you should. Okay? We good? All right, you have a good night. All righty, uh, let's keep, it, uh, keep things in perspective here in today's time. That's the perspective we need to keep. We're in today's time. <clears throat> and in today's time, <clears throat> we're not dealing with yesterday's issues. We're dealing with things that have mutated, prog uh, progressed, uh, evolved, and basically has become now intellectual. And in that intellect, it also has become uh, autonomous. The military doesn't know what to do with it. Elon Musk wants to write code and put it into the AI. It's too late. It's too late. You can't control a machine that can write its own program. And if it decides it doesn't want your program, it can pull it in a bin, just like your computer does. You know, you can put it in a bin file and it's gone. Never find it again. Uh, the means of protecting yourself today requires, is going to require study. Understanding frequency devices, EMFs, ELFs, uh, PMFs, things of this nature. Understanding the nature of the minerals that you're around, potassium, magnesium, uh, chloride, sodium, uh, whatever. Finding books that have specific uh, breakdown of these components that can help you understand why you need them. A lot of times we need a lot of these things because we have lost so much in the process in regarding to being afflicted and, and again um, uh, violated and infected. You know, so this is part of the stuff, part of the things that's going on today. So again, we need to start thinking in what we need to do. All right, I'm always talking about the Micro Effect Broadcasting Network. Give them, give them your support. Show them that you care. Call them up. Say, hey, how can we help you? Give them what you can. You got Brian396. You got Bye Bye Blue Sky. You got AugmentInForce.com. You got these sites are up there for your benefit so you can go and access the information that's there so you can see what to do, how to do things, and what is going on with you and your insides. He, there's a place for you to check out. You got Brian396, also, again, a plethora of information you might want to check out. You might want to learn something. There's one another place for you to go. And then you got myself at augmentedforce.com. And while you're at it, if you need a consultation, you can call me. 
Uh, you can check out the catalog link, look at the research, look at the research, look at the research, and start downloading the files. So, for more information, 519-977-5351. Go to buybybluesky.com. Access the uh, health link, and then the nanomore gallons. And now you can see what's in your food. And go to buy by, uh, Brian396. He's got several sites. Check them out. Give them your support any way you can as well. Help them out so you can keep it going, keep it rolling. Alrighty. Um, we're no longer in terms of safety. <coughs> we don't have it unless you start uh, dealing with the current things at hand because until you understand what's going on you won't understand how to develop or how to build a, some kind of safety to keep tech out if that's what's going to cause it keep that in mind we are no longer like i said in the world of the disney channel uh, roy rogers has got rode into the sunset he has moved on and we aren't there yet <clears throat> we are in a whole different we will not be riding on a horse. We'll be riding on a flying object. <laughs> That's where we're going. If you've ever seen the movie I, Robot with Will Smith, you might want to check that out if you haven't. It might give you some perspective of what we're dealing with with a bad rogue AI. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I hear the music. Come on back next week, and we're going to further expand our horizons. Take care, eh?